Uh, we do have some folks who had signed up for public comment. Um, I don't. My name is Dan Sandini, and uh, I also have uh, 20 years in the IT field. I work for the Meyer Corporation and a master's degree in software engineering. And uh, I've got some bad news for folks after listening here. And I know this gentleman down here was looking for some outside help and wanted to get a fresh set of eyeballs on the thing. Might not be such a bad idea, but. And I won't take much time. I will take. I'm also a chronically ill patient, and I've had my health health insurance canceled, and so I'm struggling with this. I have decided to go around Cover Oregon here and just sign up directly with Providence, um, just because I can see from the outside what's happening here. Um, on uh, the 11th of November, which was a few days ago here, the Independent Alivir Health Study came out and ranked Oregon last in terms of these exchanges. Last. We have a serious problem on your hands. As I listened around the table here today, I heard shifting requirements. It's not only the Oracle guys and the technical guys' fault, but the folks who are going to be using and implementing the system, there are requirements that are changing as well. And those need to be frozen. The solution that's being offered, or as near as I can tell, is adding more people to the project. Isn't that what I heard the Oracle guy say when he was in the room today? The one Oracle gentleman back there. There's a book that was written in the 1970s, and it's called The Mythical Man Month. And I'd like everybody to just take a look at uh, that book by Fred Brooks. It's a classic in software engineering. I mean, that, it, it's easy to read. You can look at just the summary on Amazon. And it's a simple rule. And that rule is adding more people to a late project makes it later. You are not going to see a system on December 15th. I've got bad news. You're not going to see it on January 15th. You're not going to see it on February 15th. This project exhibits all characteristics of what Eddie Orton calls Death March. And you can look at that book also on Amazon.com. It's a classic in software engineering. This project is, zo is doomed because there isn't a there isn't a baseline set of requirements, and the solutions that are being offered are to add more people to a late project. What I will offer here today, in terms of a solution for folks, is that you listen closely to what the President had to say, the President of the United States said today, which is, these people whose health insurance policies have been canceled, let them keep them for another year. And I would challenge Rocky, who's behind me, who I have asked, I already asked Governor Kitzhopper if he would fire him or whether Governor Kitzhopper would resign, okay? But someone has messed this up colossally, and I would ask those folks to immediately, and for the board to take an action, to have all OMIP members be able to retain their insurance policies for another year, at least, until you can sort this mess out. And then the next move that I would recommend for the board is to vote that the Affordable Health Care Act should be repealed and that this board should dissolve itself. And that will be my recommendations as an outside expert in software engineering. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir, what was the first book that you... Uh... It's called The uh, Mythical Man Month by Fred Brooks. And the law, it's easy. You don't even have to read the book. Adding more people to a late project makes it later. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Baxter, for giving me time to the microphone today. Uh, David Blankton. Mm -hmm.